In this video, we will be learning the equation for work done. So, for example, we have a piston cylinder arrangement here. A pressure P is acting on one end of the piston. Therefore, there will be a displacement that is happening. Say, from the initial position of 1, the piston displaces to a final position say 2 and let this distance be marked as dx. We know that pressure is equal to force by area. I can write it as F by A. Therefore, force is equal to pressure into area. Since the piston moves from initial position 1 to a final position 2, there is a work done over there and the work done say dw is equal to as per the standard equation that you have learned in lower classes it is force into displacement here the displacement is dx. Now I am substituting the value force here that is P into A that is pressure into A into dx becomes the work done. Now this term A into dx is the volume area into the displacement becomes the dx value becomes volume therefore I can write dW is equal to P into dV. So the work done W is equal to integral 1 to 2 PdV. Now this is a very very important equation that we will be using for finding the work done by a system or on a system. Now this equation has a very big significance that is if you take a PV diagram and assume that the process 1 to 2 happens in a you are taking this particular path say 1 to 2 is represented over here and I am taking an elemental volume say dv now as per the equation that we have written here w is equal to integral 1 to 2 pdv you can see that the entire area under this curve that is if I draw if I take out this area, this entire area which is being covered by the PV diagram will give you the work done. Or in other words, I can say the area under the PV diagram will give work done. Now, from this, I can prove that work is a path function, not a point function. Now, what, what do you mean by a path function? For example, I am drawing a PV diagram. I am drawing a PV diagram. And let's say there is an initial point 1 and a final point 2. So, I can say that the initial pressure is P1. And the final pressure is P2. Initial volume is V1 and final volume is V2. You can see that P1 and P2 does not depend on the path which is followed during the process. Or V1 or V2, again a property of the system will not depend on the path which is being taken. That is why these values or these properties are called point functions because the point functions or the properties will only depend on the end states not the path. Now I am taking a path 1 to 2 like this. Say this is the path which is taken by following 1 to 2 and the name is given as A. Now I am taking another path 1 to 2 like this okay say this is path B to find the work done 
ओके वी हैव द इक्वेशन इन डग्रल पी डी वी एंड इन डग्रल पी डी वी दैट मीन्स इट इज द एरिया अंडर द कर नाउ यू कैन सी दैट द एरिया अंडर द कर्व वन टू रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय ए इज नॉट इक्वल टू द एरिया अंडर वन टू टू विच वॉज विच इज अलॉन्ग बी दैट मीन्स द वर्क डन इज ए पाथ फंक्शन बिकॉज इट डिपेंड्स और इट कंप्लीटली रिलाईज ऑन बिकॉज इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द पाथ टेकन एंड दैट इज वाई वी सी दैट वर्क इज ए पाथ फंक्शन एंड इट कंप्लीटली डिपेंड्स ऑन द पाथ दैट इज बीन टेकन इट डज नॉट क्लियरली डिपेंड ऑन द एंड स्टेट और वी कैन नॉट फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ वर्क डन if we know just the end state we should know what is the path being followed 